some of them are really finished, but I picked uh, uh, a lot that are sketches so you can sort of see the, the beginning process. Do you have copies of your book here? No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> the book on motion is out of print, yeah. but you can easily get it at uh, Amazon.com. They have 10 or 15 copies. You can get it at uh, BarnesandNoble.com. And the used ones are really reasonable <laughs> because it's out of print. <laughs> Published, it wasn't that expensive. No, but uh, when, when wow. books are out of print, usually sure. are more expensive. Oh, for crying out loud. What are you hoping to see at our fall show? <laughs> <laughs> Good painting. Lots of emotions. <laughs> This is soccer, you know, and the yeah. referee is holding yep. up yellow bar. Did you use glycerin with most of these? Uh, most of them, okay. yes. But different degrees of mm -hmm. uh, wetness. This one, uh, the title is uh, Pick Your Nose. <laughs> Abstraction. It helps with motion. Well, this one is a dance studio. You see a figure here, a figure here, a figure here, several figures here. But I think it's sometimes it's it's more interesting to suggest something that could be rather than something that already is much, very, very much obvious. What in your mind makes something a sketch as opposed to a, I don't know, what's that, a finished painting? I don't yeah, that's a good question. Why, why do you call these sketches rather than... Yeah, I, uh, that's a good question because uh, a lot of times uh, sketches, sketches are sometimes superior. Figures, I, I guess, is my favorite. Uh, when I first discovered the motion, uh, I was I was uh, classified. Why well, I was pegged as a sports painter, and <laughs> very uncomfortable. You spent some hard time getting 
over there. <laughs> there. Last year I painted uh, four or five commissions on the portraits. Greg Lapel, where are you? Is that? Yeah. Greg LaFell. Okay. Can you hear me? We're not Yes. Yes. For uh, a painting to uh, have a direction, I think it's, uh, it's, it's really necessary. Okay. In this. This particular one uh, is a uh, painting that I had done, and I went through this motion. I thought it would be interesting for you to see the development uh, again here. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I went through the website and got uh, <coughs> interesting photo shots of uh, speed skaters. <coughs> okay. There we go. Okay, this, this is one. Another one. One. Oops. <laughs> Oops. same time, I also made a decision of the colors. It's really a, a, a matter of object and background. To make the object move is, I think all of you can do it. And once you know the technique and the blur. I think what's, what's really difficult is to make a painting. And by that I mean, what do you do with the surrounding area? And uh, <clears throat> here's an attempt in just one color uh, what to do with uh, the background. I think the background is almost as important as the figure in motion. Uh, to go, now, when you, when you simplify, when you, when you decide to, to move the, the, uh, the object, there's a certain amount of simplification involved and uh, or generalization. But the thing is, uh, <laughs> I have to be careful not to generalize in, su in such a way so that you lose the figure. And uh, in, in this particular case, I, I was trying to see if I could just make the figure as simple as possible, but still maintain it. Okay, 
since we have all of this decisions made, put my side here. enough to uh, have a guide. Can you see the pencil line? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trace got a good camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I brought uh, my own brushes here. I think that this is what I need here. They're pretty big. Mm -hmm. Goes out of focus uh, because of uh, moving it around, but don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what your whole demonstration is anyway. <laughs> it's much easier to do with a smaller group, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to step number In this particular one, I sort of made a decision what to do with colors. And I also made the decision to leave area white, and I sort of X out the area that's supposed to be, that's supposed to be white. And uh, with this uh, direction, and with the help of uh, with these two, I can proceed with the painting. Mm -hmm. these two. Can you see all right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, <clears throat> I think uh, I will uh, put a little glycerin, mix a little glycerin onto this to uh, prolong the, the wet because I think once I do this, it's going to be very rapid. And, uh, but still not fast enough uh, <laughs> sometimes for, for what's necessary to do the job. Okay. I think uh, I also brought sponges to speed up. Is the glycerin in the water? Is the glycerin in the water? No, not yet. You've got some areas right in the middle there that's not wet. Which side? Uh, they're right in the middle, right? Yeah, straight down the middle. Upper left. Yeah, there we go. There we go. A little more, 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 a little more <laughs> towards the middle. <laughs> the <first thing. laughs> the <first thing. laughs> Thank you for coming, folks. Here's the glycerin. And uh, I think I shouldn't use too much. And uh, I experimented a uh, different volume of this. And one time I said, I'm just going to use half and half mixture. And the darn thing stayed wet for months. 
So what is the mixture of that? Is that diluted glycerin? No. It's pure. <laughs> oh, it's not the diluted. Kind of you, you can find this in the drugstore. Drug store. to have a sort of an organic look to it, then I think you can do it sooner. But in this particular case, I think I wanted to have a little more control. Okay, let's see. I think, uh, <clears throat> generally speaking, when you're painting, uh, at least it's my uh, uh, my practice to go from light to dark simply because the nature of the watercolor is you, you can't go over light over dark. So we, the sequence is from from light to dark. So this is a lighter. I think a little while longer. To speed the thing, we can take away some of it lightly. I usually like to just wait, but uh, in this particular case, uh, we, can't, we can't waste a lot of time. I think this is about right. This is indigo. Okay. Uh, this is sepia. When you put sepia into indigo. 